Residents of Walthamstow in East London can hardly believe it. Developers want to build tower blocks up to 29 storeys high, right slap bang in the middle of the town centre. Up to a third of the space in the town square and in the gardens could be lost to make way for tower blocks, providing something like uh, 500 flats. Uh, there's great concern uh, that this could dominate uh, the town centre. And there is a campaign by local residents uh, to make sure uh, that everyone is in contact with the London Borough of Waltham Forest. Now, David Gardner and Jean Duggleby are two of those who are most concerned uh, by this new development. David Gardner, why do you say then that this development would completely overwhelm Walthamstow? Well, the centre of Walthamstow has a character. It's a, quite a wide open space. There's an open horizon. You can stand outside the bus station or anywhere around the town square. Look around 360 degrees. There's very little blocking you. It's a nice wide open space. That's the character of the town centre. If you were to put a 29-storey block, which would actually be due south of most of the town centre, you would simply lose the sky, you would get a massive shadow across the grass where people sunbathe. It would totally change the character of the place in the direction of, say, Stratford. Uh, there's already a shopping mall there, but it's a very low building. It doesn't interfere with the general appearance of the place. Jean Doubleby, do we know exactly what the developers are proposing? What, what exactly is afoot? Well, they are proposing four um, blocks of flats, including two very high, 29 storey, as David said. They also intend to take away a third of the grass and half the trees. And we have very little grassy space in central Walthamstow. It's very well used by children on a sunny day, it's packed. Um, people finish their shopping and re relax there. It will be terrible to lose that grassy space. Well, David, would this be then what some people say might be a land grab of that open space that Jean has just described. Well undoubtedly there's no other words you could use to describe it. I think it would we would lose a third of our town square which is public open space. There are of course shops surrounding it but we're talking about open space and it doesn't remain open space if you build on it. And they want to extend the existing shopping mall out into what's now the open space quite simply including the children's playground. And the plan seems to be to move that in the direction of the bus station where, of course, diesel buses sit there with their engines idling all the time. It would be the worst possible place to site a children's uh, playground. Uh, but, Jean Duggleby, we've heard the case against the loss of the open space. What about the case for new housing? There is a desperate shortage, isn't there, for new housing? And this does seem to be um, a response by the developers in conjunction with Waltham Forest Council to up the number of homes that might be available. Well that's true but if you walk around the rest of Walthamstow there is housing developments going on everywhere, maybe not so high, there's loft conversions, extensions, they are packing so many people into the area already, um, there's hardly room on the pavement for people sometimes and the trains are packed, the, the infrastructure cannot cope with any more. Uh, David, you have talked uh, very movingly about the loss of the open space, but wouldn't many visitors to Waltham, uh, Walthamstow say, well look, it's not a very inspiring place at the moment. Perhaps if 120 million, that's what they're saying this development will cost, uh, was spent in Walthamstow, you might get a better town centre. Well, there are many ways you might get a better town centre. We don't deny that, but we don't want to lose the actual space. I mean, building on it isn't going to improve it. It's going to vanish. It won't be there anymore. You could, of course, have low-rise housing all around it if that's what's needed. But the basic philosophy is the developers, Capital and Regional, already own the mall. The people they want to attract are not ordinary residents of Walthamstow, ordinary working people. They are the uppies, the rich, the ones who will commute to London. They'll have no children because there'll be no facilities for children. The flats will be incredibly expensive, astronomically expensive, and that's the, the, the group that they're aiming at. They're even going to have a little private tunnel so they can get to the, uh, the, the railway station without being contaminated by the people of Walthamstow. 
So far from helping the housing situation, it just occupies a space that might conceivably be used for social housing. So the thought that this would then provide affordable homes is something you would question, would you? Complete nonsense, I think. If the average price, which we've, this is rumour obviously, we can't confirm it, is 400,000, affordable means 80% of that, that's 320,000 for the smallest unit, which presumably be a one bedroom, for a one bedroom flat in Walthamstow. People who need it because there's a good link to the city and to the centre, commercial centre of London. Well, these yuppies, they're presumably younger and fitter than most of us. Let them live a few hundred yards away from the station where we don't see them. You know, why should they dominate the whole skyline of Walthamstow and totally change the character of the centre? Well, Jean Duckleby, you clearly feel very strongly about this. What would you like local residents to do? You've got uh, just a matter of weeks in which to lodge comments with uh, Waltham Forest Council. Well, we're going to give the um, addresses of websites later on. Um, they can write to the council. Many people have already. We've petitioned, we've um, been in the square and petitioned, and just about 99% of the people that we talk to are, are extremely strongly against it. And now, your advice, David? What would you advise people to do then who might be concerned about this? Well, the most practical thing and quickest thing is really to communicate directly with the council. Uh, it's a bit complicated. There, There is a web page that you can use. There is an email address. The quickest and easiest thing would be if you have a look at our Facebook page, which is called Save Walthamstow's Town Centre. We can give you all the details of how to make your views known there. So you would both say, would you, that uh, this is a campaign that uh, you, you feel determined about and that has to be fought. I yes. very much so, yes. And, and the majority of the public, when you talk to them, are, are, are very much against it. In fact, most people don't know what's happening, that's the tragedy. And as soon as they realise what is happening and what it really involves, they're almost universally on our side. Mm. But look, there have been weeks of consultation already on this and there have been revisions to the plans. Surely the developers and the planners seem to be going out of their way um, to uh, allow the widest possible consultation. Well, both of us went to both consultations. There were two, I think, spaced by about a year. And really, they were a total farce. The only thing that was discussed was landscaping. What kind of tiling would you like? What kind of street lights would you like? And there was no uh, reference to housing whatsoever in the consultation. Jean Duggleby, have the developers themselves been responsible, responsive? Because, of course, Capital and Regional are already landowners and property owners within the borough. Well, like David said, it, it seems very biased. Uh, the meetings we've been to, uh, we haven't been able to discuss what we want to discuss. The question is, if anyone knows, is um, very narrow. You can't really say what you think. We also have had some meetings with the councillors and it's pretty obvious that um, they kind of made up their mind already. So. <laughs> but you both clearly believe this is a fight that's worth fighting? Yes. I think so. I mean, we don't necessarily lose. They wanted an 18-storey block on top of what's now the cinema, the Empire Cinema at the corner, top of Hull Street, corner with the High Street, and that had to be reduced to six storeys in response to public pressure. So I think we can win. So you're in with a chance, Jean? I hope so.